Today, we are in Bangor, Maine. Located about an hour northwest of Acadia National Park, Bangor is the third largest city in the state, but it's probably most famous for being the Stephen King town. That's why we're right here in front of his house. Down the street is the inspiration for both the sewer and the water tower in it. And I guess the whole town of Bangor is uh, supposed to be the inspiration for dairy in it. So this house was actually built in 1870 and Stephen King purchased it, I believe in 1980. So they've owned it for quite a while. One of the coolest things I was reading online is that people come and trick or treat at their house for Halloween, which just like, it looks like a cool Halloween house. And I just, I can't imagine like how cool that would have been to have been a kid to be able to trick or treat at Stephen King's house. That'd be awesome, right? <laughs> um, I guess they haven't done it for years, but uh, I thought that was pretty neat. I guess they actually don't even live in this house anymore. He has a few houses. Uh, this, this being like the main one, this was I think like the first one that he bought after his success. But he spends, I guess, most of his time either at, uh, I think the town's called like Center Lavelle in Maine. Um, that's what, what used to be his summer home. He spends a lot of time there and he also has a house in Florida. And I can see why he spends more time at those places because we have this like quiet moment to ourselves right now, but there's seriously been like a dozen cars have come through here in just a very short time. So I, I can understand why he would, you know, maybe want to retreat to a different place because as cool as this house it is, like, you know, it is his house and if he was living here, it would probably be a little bit of an interruption to his daily life. What is cool is that a couple years ago, they rezoned the property and uh, have converted it into what is a writer studio. So if you are a writer, you can come and work in his writer studio and I guess have this like cool writing experience. Like, I don't know, maybe some of that Stephen King, Bangor magic can rub off on you and, and your work, but um, I, I don't know if it's actually open yet. I, the most recent article I saw was from 2019 and it looked like it was a work in progress, but definitely a cool thing, huh? Makes me wish I was a writer. I am not. <laughs> I just want to stay here. Is that okay? No? <laughs> His house, I don't know if that's part of it or if it's just the writer studio. The last article I could tell was from 2019. It doesn't look like there's been any like news on it. So I don't even know that it's still, or that it's like in operation yet. Um, but it is it'd be pretty cool if you were a writer. To stay in his house or even his- His studio, studio yeah. Studio house. His office place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how accurate this is because this sewer drain looks like every other sewer drain around, but it is alleged that the sewer drain here on Jackson and Union Streets is the sewer drain that is the inspiration for the sewer drain in it. Hi, Georgie. Aren't you gonna say hello? Oh. I'm a little skeptical on that one. It just looks like a, a sewer drain. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. What do you think? Is it the it sewer drain or not? Maybe it's this one. Is this the sewer drain? No, I think it's the other one. Either way, it's starting to rain. I literally just checked the radar. There was not supposed to be rain and it's raining. We're right in the thick of the rain. It looks like it's going to rain for the next hour. So I think we're going to change up our plans. And instead of checking out the water tower, we're going to go grab something to eat and we'll circle back around. We came across the river to the town of Brewer to a place called Mason's Beer Company. And um, they have this nice little outdoor patio. It is sheltered, so we are good. Although it appears to not be raining right now. It's actually quite beautiful right now. Um, but we did just hear thunder, so... 
see. <laughs> but um, we got ourselves some beers. I got their blueberry sour. We brew that in house as well as the one Jeremy got, which he got a blueberry wheat ale. And I love sours. Sours have weirdly become one of my favorite kinds of beer, and this one is uh, phenomenal. I just I love blueberry. I love sours, and it's pretty much perfect. Mine's a blueberry wheat ale, so it's kind of half of my knee with the blueberry. It's good. I think your sour is a little better, though. I agree. I agree. <laughs> your pizza got white and red barbecue sauce chicken candy bacon and corn it's really good and as someone who doesn't like corn in general that much the roasted corn on pizza no less fantastic fantastic pizza as is my house made veggie burger uh, it's got two patties on it and they're both house made and um, I don't know they're a delight They're like crispy on the outside kind of smushy on the inside got some grilled onions perfect perfect soft bun. It's just like phenomenal really really good food and as good as the beers because the beers are great, too We got some food in us the rain's holding off for now. We are back at the Thomas Hill standpipe this is a water storage tank that dates back to the late 1800s. It is really neat looking and it's also listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It not only holds uh, like, I think almost 2 million gallons of water, I think. Oh my God, I'm so bad at numbers. I could be wrong and I'll leave the correct number if that's wrong. <laughs> but it also uh, controls all of the town's water pressure and I guess it still operates for those functions today. All right, this is pretty cool to see. I mean, it's not every day that we uh, trek out to a water tower, but this one is pretty interesting. And also it's just be beautiful. It's a really beautiful water tower, which I don't know that I've ever said about another water tower ever. So, all right, Bangor, what else you got for us? this trail down there on the waterfront where you can walk all along the waterfront. However, it has started raining again. At least it started raining before we started making our way down there. That's true. Because we could have gotten caught in a downpour and we, we didn't. So that's a win. Yeah. <laughs> the weather has been so weird here today in Bangor though. It's been like this weird mix of like thunderstorms and rain and then just like super nice sun then humid then windy and like oh, come on Maine what are you Florida <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's okay we still have more to see and maybe it'll clear up and we can come back by the one the waterfront later maybe maybe <laughs> We came a little bit outside of town to a place called what I would pronounce Dysart's truck stop, but Google said Dysart's and she's not a reliable source. I don't know why I would trust her for pronun pronunciations, but now I'm questioning how it's pronounced. So if you know, please leave us a comment and let us know. Anyways, this is a truck stop and restaurant that has been open since the 60s and jeremy and i have been on this trek through maine trying to find all the good maine foods and one thing we have not tried yet is blueberry pie and this place is apparently a good spot in bangor to get some blueberry pie so we got blueberry pie we did what's really cool about this place that i later learned about after saying i'm gonna get some blueberry pie there is that this truck stop is actually supposed to be the inspiration for the Stephen King short story Trucks, which was later turned into Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, Maximum Overdrive, the I think like 1986 movie. I think so, yeah. And it was his directorial debut. Yeah, so. the one and only time he's directed a, <laughs> a thing. Yeah, which I, I don't think it was 
great. I've never seen, I've never actually seen it, yeah. but, um, but this is apparently the location that is, uh, it's based on, it's based on. So that's pretty cool and random that like, literally we didn't even plan to do a Stephen King thing. We just wanted pie, but it's a Stephen King pie. <laughs> All right. Do you want to try it first? Mm. You go, go for it. You, you scooped it. You, you try it. Have you ever had blueberry pie before? I don't know if I have. I don't think I ever have, but I love blueberry things and I love that blueberry pie is something that you can get in Maine. Yeah, it's really good. The crust is buttery and flaky and it's got a whole lot of blueberries in it, which yeah. I don't have a problem with. I can see them all. They're all packed in there. They had other kinds of pies that looked really good, like strawberry rhubarb and um, they even, I guess, like their flaky buttery crust is a, a thing. And you can even buy like a whole chicken pie, chicken pot pie. So if you wanted to like have a family dinner here, you could pick up a pot pie and make it yourself. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That might be my new pa my new pie flavor. <laughs> it's really good. It is really good. I'm not sure if you can see it very closely, but so far the things that we've had that have had main blueberries they've been very tiny like they're small compared to some of the other blueberries but man they are like like the best flavorful best flavorful like yummy blueberries like they're really sweet they're just really nice so thanks Maine thanks for your blueberries among other delightful things do you think Stephen King's had their blueberry pie I don't know I mean, they're supposed to have good blueberry pie. It's like one of the things that they're known for. So I'm gonna assume that he's had it, right? I don't know. <laughs> and as we were sitting here, the rain cleared up. It was getting lovely again. And now it's starting to sprinkle. So we might have to call it a day and, and try to film the rest of the stuff tomorrow because we have outdoor activities planned. <laughs> oh, so maybe we'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> good night. A blueberry pie, good night to you. <laughs> no? <laughs> I love this mural that says, Banger wants you. Calling all creative people. This guy apparently commissioned it and hopes to draw more creative people to his glove city. The rain seems to have held up for a minute, so we came to the downtown area, which is really cute. There's a lot of cute little shops. There's a little canal that runs through this downtown area, which I, I think there's a canal in Derry in it, right? Isn't there? Aren't there canals? I don't know. I can't remember. However, I feel like there are very many things that make it pretty clear that yeah, Bangor is just dairy. It's dairy. Except hopefully in real life, Pennywise doesn't exist because that would be horrifying. There's this place in downtown Bangor called the Rock and Art Shop and I read online that it was like a really cool place to check out and I was like, I don't know, rocks? How cool is a rock shop? I mean, sometimes they're cool, but it is so much more than that. It's so cute. I can't believe we almost missed this place because they have tons of like great unique gifts. There's all kinds of weird stuff like skeletal things and plants and just like an assortment of stuff, greeting cards. I just like, I love everything in there and it's great. So you should definitely actually, so yeah, actually if, you, if you're like me, you're like hesitant about like a, a rock shop, it's, it's so much more than that. Definitely check this place out. I was in there kind of a long time and Carly was like, hey, hey jerk. Hey jerk, don't leave me out here. <laughs> Because as we always say, puppies need both parents. She gets nervy if we're not both there. It's fair. 
Looking around, it looks like a lot of restaurants and most of the stores seem to be closing at 6, which it's 6, so there might not be a whole lot else for us to see right now. It certainly smells nice down here. Unfortunately, we have already been to two restaurants today, so yeah, we don't have food in our future, but um, it is really nice down here. I'm glad we came down to this part of town. It was kind of a little unexpected thing we just did and it's really neat. It's a cute downtown area. This stop is one that I'm a little bit nerdy about, but I don't know if you're going to be. <laughs> this is the Bangor Waterworks building. They filmed both Dreamcatcher and Graveyard Shift here in this actual building. The Night Shift was one of my favorite Stephen King books growing up. Probably one of my favorite books in general. And although the movie is less impressive, it is really cool that that famous rat scene was filmed right there. I'm just saying. It's pretty cool. Where a secret lies long forgotten by any living soul. I guess it's an apartment building now, but as the sign says right here, it was constructed in 1875 as the waterworks building, the Bangor Waterworks building. It was the main water filtration system of the area and uh, w was the provider of filtered water for the town of Bangor. So probably not on every person's uh, bucket list, but for me to see this, it's, it's pretty neato. N neato. <laughs> neato is, I guess, a cool thing we're saying today. <laughs> Don't mind us, we're just listening to some rockin' tunes on the Stephen King rock station. This is it right here. Stephen King's rock station. W-K-I-T itself. K-it? Ah, King. King it. Kinging it. Kinging it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, not only does uh, Stephen and Tabitha King own the rock station, they've got two other stations here. So we don't have to just rock out. We can like adult alternative out. Or retro radio out. Yeah. So, I don't know, I thought it was kind of fun. I didn't know he had a radio station until just like a couple of days ago. So it's pretty cool, but. It's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's a cute little building. <laughs> and pretty rockin' tunes. Not bad. Pretty rockin' tunes. Oh wow, this is so cool. So. One of the things that's really neat about this cemetery is not only did they use it to film pet cemetery, cemetery scenes in it, but it's pretty well known that Stephen King used to come here and wander the cemetery, I guess when he was going to the University of Maine. So it is said that some of the characters that he has created in his works are borrowed names from people who are buried in the cemetery. And two of the most notable ones are Carrie and Georgie from It. And we driving around the cemetery, we were like, this place is so massive. We are never gonna find them. We're gonna have to go ask for help. It's so cool because they are actually located right in the same area where Stephen King is giving his eulogy in Pet Cemetery. So the Carrie one is right back there. You might even be able to see that headstone in Pet Cemetery, It might be in the shot, which would be really, really weird and very meta and very Stephen King because I feel like he always references other works of his in, in all the things he does. Like things always are connected and they always come back to Bangor. This is just another one of those things. I, I'm a believer now, I'm a believer now. I was not a believer about the sewer. I was like, oh really, it's that sewer? We just know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's, I think it might be legit because everything else is really, really cool. You can see this all is in the film. I think that, that big one in the back right there is in the, the background, which would mean that Carrie, which is right there, is also in the film and just out of frame would be Georgie right here. It also makes things really easy if you wanna come visit this. It is not actually that hard to find. Although um, 
I, I don't know, I think, I think there was such a lack of information on the internet that I think we're gonna probably put together a blog post about it just to help people out. So if you wanna check that out, uh, we'll leave a link below um, over to our website so that uh, you can get better, more clear instructions on how to find the headstones here. You got Georgie, you got a filming location, and you got Carrie, and they're all right in the same area. In an area Stephen King was not only standing in the film, but obviously has been in real life as well. Dogs aren't allowed in the cemetery, so we've been taking turns. You wanna, you wanna go check it out? It's pretty sure. cool, it's pretty right. cool. It is weird with how giant this cemetery is that all the Stephen King related stuff is kind of just in one area. <laughs> yeah, it's neat. It's almost like they did it on purpose. The headstone would have been about right here. He would have been sitting up above it. Which truly does line up with this shot. Talk. The barrier. I'm sorry if the shots keep getting shaky. I am uh, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here. The same one keeps landing on my arm, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't like Maine mosquitoes. <laughs> so, if you wanna come to Maine, Especially Bangor. We didn't have this problem on the coast, but um, getting inland a little bit, uh, there seem to be quite, quite the bugs and mosquitoes. And bug spray would be helpful, which we have, but it's like packed away somewhere. I can just appreciate when movie magic is also like logistically in real life. It makes sense. Checks out. Mount Hope Cemetery is certainly one of the most beautiful cemeteries that we've ever been to, and we love checking out cemeteries. And I just love all of the neat, beautiful, old headstones combined with just the peaceful, picturesque background. This is really a great one. Definitely recommend checking it out. And with that being said, I think our time in Maine is coming to an end. We're heading to New Hampshire tonight. Tomorrow we'll be in Vermont. So come along on our next adventure.